Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday. And in my household, it's me, my husband, and our nine month old baby. So let me show you what we are having for dinner today. I'm still trying to use up stuff that I have in my freezer, fridge, and pantry. So we are having this Mediterranean pasta salad kit that I picked up from Aldi a while back ago. And um, it's actually pretty tasty. And to it, I just added some feta cheese. I had some feta cheese in my freezer that I needed to use, so I added that. And then we are also having some Mediterranean style chicken. And so this chicken I pulled from my freezer. I got it on sale, um, I guess it's been a few weeks ago and I immediately stuck it in my freezer. So it is Mediterranean herbs and spices. And here are the spices that they used. And so um, here it is, Howard grilled it up for us and we've already fixed our plates. It looks really good. We both tasted it and it's really juicy. We're not big chicken breast um, fans. We prefer dark meat, but this is really, really juicy and very tasty. So that's why I decided to go with the Mediterranean, Mediterranean theme tonight. And then we're also just having some canned green beans that I seasoned up. And these are the canned green beans that I used from my pantry. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having Korean inspired egg roll in a bowl. I actually participated in a collaboration video um, with everyone um, making different egg roll in a bowl recipes. So I did record a video for this. So I'll make sure to link it in the description box so that you can see the recipe along with everyone else's recipe. But here it is right here and we are serving it with egg rolls and the egg rolls are these Taipei pork egg rolls. I threw away the box a while ago because um, I just had a couple left in there, but this is what it looks like. I like them. Howard is not a big fan of these, so I probably won't buy these again. Um, but anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight. Definitely make sure to check out the playlist and look at everyone else's egg roll in a bowl recipes. All right, see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are keeping it simple. We are having Caesar salad with chicken strips. So let me show you what we're using. So I had this in my refrigerator from a recent Aldi haul. So we're using the Caesar salad kit. And to it, I added these crispy chicken strips. I only had about four or so left in the bag. So I cooked them in my air fryer and then I chopped them up and added them to the salad. And so this is what it looks like. I also boiled a couple of eggs and added those to the salad as well. This is Howard's plate and he added some avocado to it. And then we are also having some garlic toast. And here is the garlic toast. This is the one that I always use and I get it from Tom Thumb, which is a grocery store here in Texas and other places too. But this is my favorite. It's inexpensive and it's really good and you get eight slices and it's so good. And then we are having some tomato soup on the side and this is from HEB, which is a grocery store here in Texas and you microwave it. So I stuck this bag in the microwave and it's supposed to be one serving, but Howard and I split it. And so this is what it looks like. And we tasted it, we've never had it before and it is pretty good. And then this is my plate. I'm having the same exact thing, but no avocado. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I am trying out a new recipe tonight. It is called Mexican spaghetti, and I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. Just FYI, Harrison is having his dinner, so you may hear him in the background a little bit. But all I have done so far is brown one pound of ground beef with some bell pepper and onion. I seasoned it and drained the meat. To that, I am going to add some tomato sauce and some Rotel undrained. Some cumin and some garlic. 
and I am going to let this come to a simmer and then I'm going to add in my Velveeta cheese here that I already have cut up and cubed. And so once all of this comes together and melts, of course, I'm gonna come back and show you the finished product. So here is the Mexican spaghetti. Got it all plated up. And we are just having some leftover green beans from the other night. And then um, I have been talking about these Sister Schubert's yeast rolls that I've had in the freezer forever. We're down to seven, so hopefully that will be done soon. So Howard and I tasted um, the sauce, and we both think it's pretty heavy on the cumin. So if I make this again, I might not add cumin or add very little. So just an FYI, the cumin favor, flavor is pretty strong. I think it calls called for um, a tablespoon. I definitely, unless you really like cumin, I probably would not put that much in if I were you. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so we got takeout for dinner tonight. We got Chinese food, Howard and I love Chinese food and we don't get it very often anymore. Um, so let me show you what we got. We got some hot and sour soup. This is a large hot and sour soup. And then the crunchy noodles are in there. Howard got uh, twice cooked pork. And then we got a side of plain fried rice. We are trying out these um, pancakes. I can't remember what they're called. I think they're called green onion pancakes. We've never had them before. Um, so we got some of those. We got some fried dumplings. I think, I think they're pork dumplings, but I'm not sure. And then I got Mongolian chicken. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time.